Hello guys, what's up? So basically, there are two types of people that comment on my channel and one type of people usually say that if you are taller, you should just shut the fuck up and lift and other type of people basically say Oh, I'm tall, I'm so fragile, I can't lift anything heavy and when I lift anything remotely heavy, I'm gonna break So, uh, that's pretty actually pretty common thinking People usually like to think in black and white terms and this isn't any different than anything else but of course as always the truth is not that simple and is always somewhere in the middle so basically when you're a taller dude yes there are some things that are going to be different eventually and there are some common issues when you are taller so basically the process of the lifting itself and the process of eliminating things or that you have to do and that you don't have to do and what you need to do the process is the same for any anybody who is uh, tall or not tall but when you are taller there are going to be pretty much some similarities so if you're not built for squat if you're not built to squat, uh, you know, probably uh, you're not gonna tolerate, tolerate a lot of volume on squats If you're not built for bench, if you have like super long arms like me uh, Maybe you're not gonna tolerate a lot of volume on benching And uh, if you are shorter dude who has short legs, you don't weigh as much as taller guys, you know probably you're gonna tolerate a little bit more volume because you know just the range of motion is so much shorter that you're not basically doing as much damage as you are when you are taller guy and you have like super long uh, femurs so basically the uh, these guys that say that they're gonna break if they lift anything heavy yes in a way they are true but these guys are also true that you should just shut the fuck up and lift and uh, for those guys who think they're gonna break if they even smell the weight I don't know if you should lift weights at all because if you're scared of lifting anything heavy I don't know if, if lifting heavy weights are for you maybe you can do pilates or yoga uh, they should lift something heavier and on the other side of the, of the issue when the guys are telling you basically that if you're not breaking yourself in half in the gym you're not really training they should chill the fuck out and uh, as I said before there are, going, there are going to be differences of course and it all depends on the individual but the thing is that the differences is gonna be, are gonna be there if you are tall or not so the process is the same process of eliminating is the same for you know for everybody and everybody is going to be different eventually but as i said before you know uh, it's gonna come it's gonna like uh, uh, develop itself on its own when you are uh, implementing the process of training and yeah so basically in a way you should shut the fuck up and lift and in a way yes probably there are going to be differences when you are taller dude of course the first and the most notable thing in my opinion is that a lot of people don't actually realize that if you are taller dude you have to like go pretty you have to eat much more than you think and you have to bulk a lot more than you think you should because uh, you can see me now so I'm basically I'm pretty I'm booked now I'm not lean I mean you can see some of my abs a little bit but I have 110 kilos currently and I'm six foot four pretty much and I in real life I mean yeah okay if you, if you see me in real life you will say okay yeah this dude works out but you will not say like oh my god he's fucking huge you know but I already have 110 kilos so what the thing that people don't realize that you have to go you have to <laughs> you have to bulk up 
pretty 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 high you know and for smaller guys that's not the case because uh, I mean it's not smaller guys I'm sorry for shorter guys it's not the same because a shorter guy can have around 90 kilos and he can be like you know like stompy you know blocky he, he will look blocky with 90 kilos somebody who is between 175 centimeters to 180 centimeters 90 kilos is a lot but for a guy like me who is 190 to 93 centimeters around six foot four 100 kilos it's not you know it's not much so uh, you have to put a lot more mass on your body to even look like something there is one bodybuilder who is like over seven feet i don't know what's that in centimeters over 220 centimeters he's a fucking giant and he has uh, his arms you know his arms here are uh, like uh, over 62 centimeters i think the number it is 53. wow 53 that's a big ass number which is pretty much more than any ifbb pro bodybuilder on mr olympia stage you know and he doesn't look that big you know that's because of his height so yeah those type of things are going to be different when you are taller but the training itself it's not that different you know it pretty much everything applies to everybody you just have to remember that you need to do your whole range of motion so some people think that you 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 only have to do bench like this when you are you know tall but that's just nonsense i mean you have to go all the way down that, that's even actually better for you when you are taller you have longer range of motion and you can build just because of that your your muscles are literally longer you know you can build more mass eventually that's why uh, <laughs> that's why i always say you will never see a 195 centimeter 74 a kilo class lifter never that that doesn't exist the height depends uh, the basically how much you weigh will depend on how how tall you are so there is a saying in powerlifting that um, weight classes are pretty much height classes yeah, the great thing in here is he's well away from his personal best so he's not sapping energy he's got plenty see the Edward smile at the lockout if it felt good very smooth in disguise you know because you will never see 120 kilo, 20 plus kilo lifter that is below 170 kilos 70 centimeters <laughs> even if there exists one he, he would look like a fucking cannonball he will be like this i mean in the stomach because <laughs> and pretty much you will never ever see a elite level power lifter who is below 83 kilos and is above 190 centimeters so i i can guarantee you that it doesn't exist maybe maybe in some scenario maybe you will see a deadlift specialist that is pretty tall but doesn't weigh that much because Deadly specialists are basically, you know, built like stick figures <laughs> because deadly specialists almost in almost in every case have long femurs, uh, longer limbs and um, short torsos Th because that's pretty much a perfect uh, leverage for deadlift, you know. And yeah, so if you are a taller guy you will tend to be a little bit heavier just because you have bigger skeleton that's like pretty simple idea if you're a shorter guy you're gonna weigh less most likely because you have smaller skeleton it's not like the one is better than the other but it's just different you know but the training itself as i said for like 100 time here uh, the training itself, the training process itself, the process of uh, approaching uh, the issues of how much volume you need to do, uh, what uh, technique is best for you, ultimately what uh, suits the best for your body, is going to be the same, you know, but in the end everything will look different. So 
I hope that uh, I cleared some of this stuff uh, out and because I hate it when people like uh, people like to think in black and white terms so I heard once some saying somewhere that uh, uh, a lot of young, young men are going to be willing to die for the truth but uh, not many will uh, like to discover what the truth actually is so you know that's pretty much applies that pretty much applies in our case here so i hope that clears some of this stuff out you know guys i don't want this video to be too long it's already 10 minutes it's it has already been 10 minutes so you know see you guys in the next video and peace out awkward double bicep pose and bye